my name is Salma Khan. I'm business developer in Siemens AG. Today, I'll introduce you to our new ID key that makes your system more secure by means of RFID technology. How easy it is, I'll show you now. What is an ID key? An ID key, in fact, has the same functionality like a key selector switch, namely turning on a machine or switching to different modes. It has in total five outputs that can be directly hardwired or can integrate to control system via IOLink master module and it can control four outputs by turning on the key. The fifth output is switched on as soon as you insert an allowable key into the lock. However, ID key can do even more. Each key has a unique identification number in the built-in RFID chip and it is readable via base module. This unique number determines which features user is allowed to access. What are the components of an ID key switch? ID key switch has a total of four parts, actuator module, a standard holder block, base module, and the keys itself. Actuator module is available in two different designs, that is plastic and metal mat to meet our CS Act push button line. Base module exists in two different versions, one without IO-Link for standard solutions and one with IO-Link that helps you to realize a special locking system. For authorization, we have four different colored keys. Each key has a unique identification number. We also have a white key. I'll talk about it later. Now we talk about how do the keys work. For example, green key has the basic functionality and it is sufficient if you want to turn on a machine only. You see in the beginning, all LEDs are red. It means no output is switched. As soon as we insert in the green key, only first LED is yellow. It means only output number one can be switched. All the red ones cannot be switched. If you want to switch position one and two, then go with the yellow key. Red key allows switching position number one, two, and three, and blue key has the rights to switch all four positions. You see all LEDs are yellow. It means all outputs can be switched. Now you can notice an essential difference between our ID key switch and the normal key operator switch. With the normal key operator switch, you can turn all positions with all the keys. With ID key solution, you can decide. The next question comes, how does the key work? Switching the key itself is very intuitive. We have blue key inside the lock at the moment. All four LEDs are now yellow. It means all four positions can be connected. Now we turn the knob one position to the right. The first LED starts blinking and after a delay of two seconds, LED color changes to green completely. It means first output is now connected. To switch position number two, simply rotate to write once more. After two seconds, output two is switched on. Rotating left once, deselects all switched positions. Now you can again switch to any position starting from left to right. Now we have a white key. What's the purpose for this white key? The white key by default has no defined authorization level. When you insert it into the actuator module, all LEDs are flashing. It means all outputs are available but cannot be switched. This key allows you to assign required user rights through our TIA portal and blocks all other colored keys. It means you can realize a special locking system without ordering any special lock. And how to realize a special locking system? I'll show you in the next video. Now you have seen that Siemens ID key switch is not only a technical innovation, but also an optical value for your plant. Give it a try.